Hey, good morning, everyone. So today is uh, July 2nd. I got some errands to do, and I actually got to go to work for a couple hours. But after that, my plan is to probably go to Starbucks, study for a bit, and then hit the gym. So I'll show you guys what Starbucks in Japan looks like and what working out is like here in Japan. Um, yeah, it's a cloudy day. Let's get to it. Right. It would be a nice day to put a top down actually. It's not very hot, but it's not rainy. Let's do that. This zips down. And then this opens up. Very easy. Hey, give me a shot. Okay. I'm starving, so I'm just gonna head up 7 Eleven, get the same thing I always get, which is a breakfast burrito thing and maybe an energy drink. Alright, let's go. Out of my car a little bit more. See, it's an MB, MB Miata. But it's just a dash. Right? Go, 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 go. People are always like, so how safe is Japan? And I think it's incredibly safe. In fact, uh, on top of not locking my doors, uh, in my car at least, I often just leave it running and leave my stuff in the car like this as I go and run in to get some food. So here, car's running, bunch of stuff in the car. It's totally fine. It's gonna look sketchy though. Hopefully it's okay. Can I get some real quick? So my stuff might be gone, but oh no, oh, see, there it is. And everything's looking. All right. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, I got a magic trick for you guys today. Here, watch this. Real quick, all right? Whoops, camera, uh, camera fell. All right, see the ring? Watch this. Okay, let's go. Whew. It is super, super hot today. Uh, it's, I think it's probably like 32 or something degrees. Um, and the sun is just blazing down. So I'm, I'm sweating like a bacon, bacon like a bacon. Uh, and what's more, my car doesn't have AC. So I'm just keeping the top down. Trying to stay cool with the wind in my hair, but I'm I'm getting really really badly tanned. So right now I'm at GU, and GU is a sister brand of Uniqlo, which is kind of like the uh, the Gap of Japan. And GU is nice because they've got kind of trendy fashion styles at really cheap prices. So right now I just I, I got to go buy some new socks because I always lose my socks. So let's see what kind of socks they have. So yeah, some people wanted to see the interior of my car. Like that's the NB interior, NB dash inside of a my yellow NA. Uh, if you guys want me to do a review or some sort of like feature on this car, uh, let me know. I think it'd be pretty cool. All right, so let's go to GU. Let's get out of this heat. This is cool, that's a cool message. I might even pick up some clothes. Um, see, GU is really 
reasonably priced. It's uh, like 20 bucks. 15 bucks for these Hawaiian shirts. The quality's not bad either. The only problem is like when you buy something at GU, you tend to see a lot of people wearing it. And you know, you're kind of like, oh that guy that got that shirt at GU, whatever. But GU and Uniqlo are really really popular for foreigners because they tend to size their clothes pretty reasonably for foreign sizes, which means like fat people like like myself. Or <laughs> I'm not fat but uh, I've got a little bit more muscle than like Japanese people tend to have, so pants don't fit me really well. But GU is pretty good for that. Alright, socks. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Super cheap. Five pairs for five ninety. Every time I come here, I end up copying way too much gear. Uh, a couple linen shirts, twenty bucks each. What else? This cool. Ultraman gold foil shirt. This one's only six bucks, about 600 yen. <laughs> I thought the shirt was funny. It's also gold foil. I like gold foil. And this one's like 400 yen. And a pair of olive shorts. I think this is only like, yeah, 1500 yen. So it's, it's all super cheap, but it adds up. And this uh, stuff I'm not taking, but I just came here for the socks and end up leaving with a couple new outfits. Oh, jeez. Just gonna buy just these socks and I bought everything. So I pull out of the parking lot at GU and this really, really sweet 350Z just uh, drives by. And I was like, yo, I gotta take a video of this real quick because it is really, 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 really nice. What I really like is the inside. What's really cool is like he has camo on the inside. Kind of like a vinyl covering, I think. That's really cool. That's that's uh that's creative. So yeah, a lot of really sweet cars just driving around. Starbucks now. I decided to change shirts. Uh, I was getting kind of, kind of sweating the other one. I hope that's okay with you guys. So I'm at Starbucks editing. This is basically where the majority of Drift Hunter was conceived and put together. And so they know me very well here at the Starbucks. I'm here basically like four or five times a week, and sometimes I stay until 12 when it closes. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's really really busy today It's kind of meta. I'm just uh, doing some stuff for YouTube Weird So I'm still at Starbucks. I've been editing all day. I'm pretty tired and um, a couple of my friends came in um, she, One of my friends she drives a really really cool car. That's kind of famous here in Yenema. It's a uh, it's a Daihatsu Mira edition and uh, it's, it's really cute, it's got a bicycle on top, a tricycle. So later on, we're gonna go take a look at it. But for now, I wanna introduce you guys to the owner. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Why do you like this? It's amazing. It's super cute. So we're gonna go take a look. And uh, hopefully I get to sit inside because I see it on Instagram all the time. Hopefully this time we get time and it's it. Inside. Okay. They're watching episode two. Okay, so I promised them I would do a backflip and some stuff. So I'm just gonna do one right now. What about this? Ok, 
Okay, so Yuki's gonna do some amazing, amazing magic for the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. One more time. What guy means one more time. She's just trying really hard. Okay. Oh, 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 Hi, hi, Gambate. Gambate means do your best. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that means total failure. <laughs> so we're still here in Starbucks. I taught Yuki how to do a magic trick, and now she's gonna perform it on Meg. So let's hope she gets it right. Come Alright, so 